everything I do, it's, um, I, I really follow my feelings. So I, I guess with photography, I had a feeling I had to do it. So I just started to do it. Um, I think I do photography or I started photography because it um, makes me, uh, with photography, I've, with photography, I think I look more concentrated uh, to the world. And I think that's why I do it. Or maybe that's why I started it. I don't know. Uh, and I think I also take pictures because I want to, I want to be amazed by things. And I think photography, that's the, uh, it really helps me to, to, to keep be amazed by several things. What is really important for me is that I, if I'm doing a project, that I'm there really as a person. Like if I'm, if I approach people that it's very much as a person and not really as a photographer. So I think photography and myself, it really goes together. It's just, uh, it's a manner to, to, yeah, to, to take the moment, I guess I have with people. I graduated with a work on Russia. Um, and actually I, I traveled through Russia with the Trans-Siberian train. And I asked random people on the street if I could spend the night in their house. I took pictures about the intimacy and the families um, and about my relationship with people because I only spent the night for one night with them. And I, real, I, I could see that sometimes I had a very special uh, intimate moments with these people. So and in the beginning, I thought maybe it's because I, I don't speak the language. And then I wanted to go somewhere else where I could speak uh, the language. And then I went to the States and I'm still doing this project. Actually, now it's still a work in progress. I've been there five time, times now and I, I kind of do the same approach people on the street and enter their houses and um, take pictures of not. It's not I don't take pictures of their life. It's not about uh, people. I don't want to say people in the States live like this or in Russia, they live like this. It's really much about the intimacy, about the intensity, intensive moments. Yeah. For trust, I went to Cairo um, and uh, I, I didn't really took pictures on Tahrir Square, but more I, I really went into people's homes to take pictures there. And actually, um, first I was invited for another project to go to Cairo. Uh, and there for this project, I thought maybe I can take pictures on the street, uh, do something else. But when I was there, I realized it was very actually very important to do this. Uh, to go to enter to try to enter in people's homes uh, also in Cairo because um, I think because of the culture they didn't really they really yeah their, their private life they wanted to be private and also um, because of the revolution you could feel the tension in the street and when I was in Cairo as well um, um, they, they they showed on the state TV they, sh they showed anti-foreign ads so you could not trust uh, people, uh, foreigners like me. So I thought for this project to trust, it could be very interesting to try to enter and to, to see how it would work. Because sometimes I like it to be difficult. <laughs> I was only there for maybe five or six weeks. So I don't, I don't want to say I gave a portrait of uh, the Egyptian people. But of course, it's, these pictures are taken in a certain time. I'm preparing an exhibition now and I would like to put like the Cairo pictures next to the States and next to the Russian work. So it's not important anymore, uh, which is the country. So it's, it's really much this, this kind of intensity with these people or the people. I really like to take pictures when people just go to sleep because then they are uh, in their own world, like very, um, yeah, preparing to sleep, like really much in their own world. And I like to capture these small things. For me, it's very difficult to describe uh, where my work is about, I think, because it's very, I think I try to capture what I think or what I feel in these moments. Like I said, it's, um, I'm there as a person and I'm, it's a conversation with these people. Maybe my pictures are more like a conversation with these people or maybe with these people, or maybe how they see the world. Maybe I could try to capture how they see the world as well, or in between moments, moments in between. Um, yeah, I, when I'm in Belgium, I really feel um, a sort of uh, unrest. Uh, and I don't know, maybe that's why I start to shoot. I want to go away and I, I don't know if it's really photography who can uh, slow down this unrest or, or, or maybe it's the contact with these people.
Or maybe it's just the boat together. I think it's the boat, both of them together, yeah. 